Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lamag. Holy cow, it's been forever. Uh, why has it been so long? Because I haven't been into it. I'm sorry. I do apologize. I really have not touched this since I last wrote the book, the Advanced Roblox Coding Book Updated. Okay, so literally, I have I've not been inside studio. I've not been playing with the code. I've been working, hanging out with my brother, hanging out with family, just living life. And it's very good. Um, I just shipped out everybody's book. So if you were one of the winners of the um, Ultimate Roblox Guide, that giveaway is done and it's on its way. I shipped them today. Well, y yesterday. From the time that you're watching this video, it's yesterday. Today. Does that make sense? Yeah, whatever. Anyhow, um, so there was a game I played the other day that I really like, and this is it. It's Steam, Stein World, okay? And I know, yes, just let's cut the alcohol out of it, okay? And whatever stuff they have. Um, family friendly, as far as I can tell. Um, there's always going to be people on the internet who are just mean and, and trashy in the chat anyway, but that's fine. I love this perspective, okay? This is this is the kind of game I love. What I wanna do is I wanna try and recreate that feel inside Roblox Studio. So take this gameplay style, all right, where you right click and move, or you can use A, W, S, D, move around, and then you can use E, I think. R, T, I, I don't remember. There's, oh, here. You can actually go into the settings and change all of this. So, oh, and it, it, also my current password. <laughs> By the way, that's not the actual link. It, it stars them out, so you can't see anything. Okay, anyhow, this is the field that I want. So, let's get out of here, jump back over here, and let's get into some studio. Um, we're just gonna start with a brand new one. Just a brand new all together. Oh, and so it doesn't sound so boring, I'm gonna play some music in the background. I hope you like it. Um, it is a bunch of music from YouTube Music, and I'll try and keep it down to like 3%. So, there we go. Hopefully it works. Um, so the first thing I need to figure out is which direction I face. So I'm going to go ahead and just place a part. Whoa. We're just gonna place it right there. So when I first spawn into the world, which direction am I facing? All right, so we are facing that direction. Is it stop? What is that direction? That is Z minus. So you can tell up here at the top right hand side which direction. Z minus is the direction that we're facing. I think we're supposed to be facing Z what is, what is the front side of this? Here, let's add a decal. Um, hold on, where's, what is this? Output, output's supposed to be like down here, isn't it? Why did this all change? Toolbox, get that out of here, we don't need that. Terrain editor, not needed. Um, let's see, what am I gonna do? I, I need to find out what direction this is. So in order to do that, let's go ahead, click, part, right click. We'll just hit the little plus over here, decal. We're gonna add the decal right here. What does it say it's on front, facing front? So Z minus is front. It's a little messed up. Oh, because like this direction. Okay, so think about uh, a chart where you have your X axis and your Y axis, right? Oh, sorry, X, Y. That's how this is set up. I didn't realize Z positive was this direction. So Z negative is this way and Z positive is this way. X plus, X minus, and then we have y plus, y minus, which up, down. So, um, which is also confusing to me because the z axis is up and down on Blender. 
So anyhow, um, this decal front front face. Huh. What happens if I do move? Wait, why is it not? Oh, model. Is that right? There we go. So that's in the minus, and that's the plus. Hello. Hey, Dad. Hi, bud. Maybe What's I can you show you something. Well, I'm recording, so you can't show me anything. Otherwise, I'll get a copyright strike. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Do you want to just send it to me? Poor guy. He's probably like so bored. Okay, so we know that when I spawn in, I'm going to be facing this direction. I don't like that, so let's go ahead and rotate this. Like that? Try that. All right, and we'll put this out in the front. So I should be facing X plus, right? Hey, Dad. Hi, bud. Look. Minecraft means. All right, hold on Wait. one second. All right. He's satisfied, and it was funny. Okay, um, I need to control the camera, so let's go ahead and stop and delete. Let's go down here and start player. Start character strips card, start a player scripts. I think I can control it with this, right? Does it have to be a local script? Oh gosh, I haven't done this in so long. Let's try local script. I think that'll work. We'll call it cam script. Not you, Cam. Okay, calm down. If Cam's actually watching at all. I don't even know if you'd like watch my channel anymore, Cam. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, we need the current camera. So, how do I get the current camera? Local cam equals game dot players dot local player dot camera no that doesn't work that's camera mode okay let's try game dot camera no game dot world workspace dot camera oh there we go okay so i got cam so let's do cam dot dot uh oh well where's all my other where's all my other oh there they are they're down below okay dot mode camera subject fields max diagonals okay there, focus e frame class name archival camera type equals Goals camera type. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Is it enum? Enum dot camera type dot scriptable. Scriptable. Okay, that should um, find us. So we also need. What do we need? We need the local player. So local. Layer. No. Local character. Char equals game dot players dot local player dot character dot character. Hmm. I think that'll work. Possibly. Alright. While one do sleep. Or is it wait? Is it time dot wait? Time dot wait for one second, and then we are going to say cam dot c frame equals equals um, char dot c frame. No, let's do this. Um, let's do instance dot new. C frame? No, 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 no. We can't do that. We have to declare. 
um, let's see, cframe.new, and we need two things. We need our, our position and what we're looking at. So the first one is going to be um, here. We need to make a C frame offset. So if I want it in three fourths perspective, that means I need to go up 10 units and back 10 units and then look down at the character. So let's grab our chair. Let's see, um, local offset equals character dot C frame character dot humanoid. I guess it's get, oh, function, get child. Is it children and get child? I think it's get first child dot first, find first child. Humanoid root part. Oh gosh, is it even humanoid root part? Hold on, I gotta look at my character. Workspace, code primate, humanoid. There's humanoid root part, it's all one word. I'm silly. I don't wanna learn, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, uh, let's go back over here. Wow, I have not done this in so long. V, V, ah, humanoid group part. There we go, dot C frame. There we go, so the humanoid root part, C frame, plus uh, vector three dot new, it's going to be 0, 10, hold on, yeah, x, y, z, x, y, z, so negative 10, or is it, is it the plus position, I can't remember, okay, let's hit stop again, oh gosh, I forgot which direction I was facing, <laughs> uh, like this, right? Or is it like that? That's a Z positive. So we want to go up 10, back 10. So if I hit play, I should see the part out in front of the spawn plate. And it is. Okay. So we want to go up on the Y axis 10 units and back on the Z axis 10 units. So. This is Y, we're going up 10. This is Z, we're going back 10. So 10 and 10. So, cam.offset equals. And I will do this with a, a better loop. This right here, this is just a loop to test to see if it works, which I bet it's not going to, but it's worth a shot. Tint into index function weight. Does it sleep? Delay time dot wait. Hold on. Is it just wait? Let's try just wait. Nope. Something broke with attempted to index nil with find first child. Oh, 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 oh. If char is not null, is it one? Not equal null, then end if. It's not if, it's just end. So stop. Does this change? Oh no. Good deal. Okay, so it's not grabbing. All right, 
So if we go into camera, can we just change this from fixed to scriptable? Does that automatically do it? Here, let's do this. While it's looping, Oh, oh. <laughs> Not quite what we were looking for. That's the actual C frame, so it's going to disappear and appear behind us every single 10, like every single second. That's not what we want. Okay, so um, let's go with offset is character find first child position. There we go. Plus vector. There we go. All right, let's try that. I don't think that's gonna work though. Yeah, didn't work. <laughs> Expected assign a C frame. Okay, local C frame, local offset equals C frame dot new character find position. Okay, local char pose equals char find first child position position there we go so char pose comma char pose plus vector so this is where we're going to be. Oh no, that's, all right, control Z, control Z, no, control Y. All right, so we want our position to be the char pose plus the offset and looking at char pose. Is that right? I think that's how it works. Stop. Let's try that. Tempted to call nil on a value. Char pose. See if I'm not nil. Char pose. What? I don't understand. Attempted to call a nil value. Is there one called wait for the first child? Wait for child. Let's do wait for child, humanoid. Attempt to call nil value. What? Cam script, attempt to call a nil value. by itself. New with the position vector 3. New with the position vector 3 and a look at vector 3. That's the one that I want, right? So char pose. Mm 
let's see, offset's going to be char pose plus, I don't want to restart. Remind me later. Thank you. Um, let's do position char pose plus vector three dot new zero ten minus ten. So that should be an offset. So for the C frame, camera dot C frame, it's going to equal C frame dot new char let's see offset comma char pose our position and where we're looking at right let's see if that works here resume nope stop 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 and f5 run it oh I can still click and move the mouth. Okay, so what if we change camera from scriptable to custom? Does that work? Nope, I can still move around. So I need to see how to prevent people from actually moving it. Camera subject, vertical view, max axis field of view. I'm not sure what that is. Head locked. Yeah, I don't think we need that. Archivable stays on. Workspace parent. Type. Diagonal field of view. Field of view. Vertical. Hmm. Okay, let's try that. Hit a five. Let's play. Nope. It's getting a little bit closer though. It's not. Okay, I think, if I remember right, I've got, let's see. Let's go back to the base plate got a mesh that I want to upload here. Wait, where's a uh, view? There we go. Asset manager. Oh, I have to save first. To use asset manager, I have to save. Untitled game, what are we going to call this? We're going to call it three-fourths view. Camera programming. Uh, description. Made for YouTube. I mean, you see. Sorry. Uh, new team create. We're going to go ahead and turn that off. Save, 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 save. Successfully saved. There we go. Now I can go into meshes. I don't have any meshes. Hmm. We should have some saved meshes, right? Uh, hold on. Let's just do a t toolbox. We're going to do models meshes we're going to do a house a mesh house oh is that a mesh house by anthony code primate what about just code primate meshes and code primate no models code primate search huh people have code primate on all over here by chill Code Primate Axe? Who made a Code Primate Axe? Code Primate, an item made by me, Hawaii. Oh my gosh, are you serious? This thing has been old. No way it still works. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. It has been so long since I've programmed this thing. I mean, it's stinking old. Oh gosh, okay. This, uh, uh, memories. Stop that. Stop. I know I programmed the, the Roblox book, but that's just it. It's been like six months and I haven't touched anything. Dice, arcade, the ultimate Roblox guide updated by Code Primate. That's my book. This is the one that you guys, uh, guys all won inside the game. So I'll just stick that over there. Or, yeah, the, the competition that we just won. So if you were here for a tutorial on like how to program in Roblox, I'm sorry, I'm just not doing it. <laughs> Uh, leaderboard has scripts. I like that warning right there. Has scripts. Um, oh, the couch for Grammy. I made that. With like a mesh. Look at that. It's amazing. Okay, so uh, the whole reason I wanted to do this was to get a perspective of things. My models? What about my meshes? Oh, snap. I've got so many meshes in here. Like this is, here, we actually, we need our own window for my meshes. Oh gosh, what are you doing? No, don't do that. We'll just max, no. We're just gonna do this. Cause I've got an entire asset pack that I, bought and uploaded let's see mesh 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 hey when they tell you don't use the toolbox for your meshes I agree with them make your own upload your own there's tons of free ones out there make sure you have the copyright Floor? What's floor? Whoa. What happened there? Oh. <laughs> it was working, just. Alright, so this is this is kind of what I wanted. So whenever you press play, I want it to be in that three-fourths perspective, like this. But Oh gosh, I just realized something. We're not going to be able to do that. We need to have this. A thousand. Because I'm going to set this from 70 down to like, let's do 10. Field of view changed to 10. Why, why did it just... Excuse me? Why is it not adding the offset? What about a hundred? Hold on. Oh, I think I know why. Go to camera. Let's go down. Name. Let's do fixed. Now what kind of camera does it think I've got? It says custom. Stop. Oh. There we go. Okay, so... Can I change it right here? Cam dot type, camera type, equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable. Oh, buddy. 
There we go. So if I if I move. That's kind of what I, I was looking for. But we're gonna have to do it on render step. So um, what is that under? Hold on a second. Okay, I think I found it. So Adventureland is something I programmed uh, a while back and it has a perspective kind of like what I'm looking for. Oh, that had a lot of stuff. Okay, so see how this perspective, you're like in a top-down mode and then when you move to the next scene, it like cuts, kind of like Zelda, right? I programmed this, geez, 2015? 2016, somewhere around there. I don't remember. Actually, yeah, I do. Hold on, what does it say? It doesn't, it doesn't say. Um, actually, it should say, shouldn't it? Hold on. Created, ah, 2017. So, 7 to 2017 is when I first did this. Oh man, is that distracting me, like hovering off the top of the start bar like that? Or down in a second. I can fix that. There we go. Hey. Hey, hey, there we go. Now it looks like I'm popping off the top of the uh, start bar. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh, Adventure Land in the camera. Stop. So on here, under Players, Code Primate. Okay. So I've got a starter player, player script, camera script. There we go. What did I do here? Camera, scriptable, workspace, current camera, camera post. Oh gosh, I did a lot of stuff on here, didn't I? There we go. The run service. Ignore list. What do I have? Ignore list. Oh, this like sets it all up, doesn't it? Check cam pose. Part equals nil. On update. The function on update. There it is. That's what I wanted. Just do that. That'll be fine. That's the other one, right? So we want to take out this do. Take that out. Oh gosh, hide that. So oh gosh, that is very confusing. Let's let's get these out of here and go go big with them. Go big. There we go. All right. Copy. We're gonna need the run service. So, run service, we need right here, local run service. We'll need that up to the top. Run service, these are all local variables, so. Oh, I guess uh, the character position is going to change constantly, isn't it? So, let me get that out of here. Actually, Copy that. And what is this? Um, camera on update. So given a string function in priority, this is the method that binds the function to the run service render step. So we call it camera. We give it this runtime priority and then on update. So then this runs if character and character position find. If player and player character find humanoid group part. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, why do we create a character ray though? Position. So, part below. Oh. Okay, so. This ray right here was actually my character stepping 
on something that had a controller. So if we look inside Adventure Land, see how this this whole part right here, right? It has a camera controller. Same with this over here. When you step onto this part, this says where to cam put the camera, and this says where to focus it. Same with this, where to put the camera, where to focus. So, that was very smart of me back in the day, but it's not what I'm doing this time. So, boink, see how it went to the welcome center? And then when you step on the back side, Kind of a kind of a cool little mechanic and I hope you were able to see the script if not here I'll throw I'll throw the script up on screen it might be kind of tiny for you but here you go close pause it or do something because I don't have this script like saved out anywhere if you're if you're wanting all this stuff Anyhow, this is what I'm going to do. Bind to render step. And then on update, we're gonna call the on update. So, bind to render step, on update. We need to create a function. Is it, is it local function? Yeah, local function. Local function on update. And then it's supposed to pass anything, no variables. Kill that end. This end goes with that if, and we're going to end that function right there. And I think I can just leave it like that because, all right. And then cam.fieldofView equals five. Fingers crossed. I think that's gonna break, but. Ooh. It ain't breaking. Oh, no. It broke. It's getting, getting a little bit closer. Uh, let's do field of view 10. And did we not bind to the render stub? Character, character pose is the humanoid root part. The offset. If char is not equal to null. All right, we don't need the, that. Char local char equals game dot players dot local player dot character. All right, if the char is not null, And I am stuck. I cannot move. Yay. Okay, so do you see how there's still a little bit of 3D perspective here? I don't like that. I want this to look flat. So let's hit stop. Let's go into, all right, our offset is by 100. We're going 1,000. first person that's that's not working at all so <laughs> um, hold on minimum maximum scroll distance isn't that something max zoom distance camera mode Classic dev camera oscillation in Visicam. And hold on, there's one other one. Dev computer movement. Click to move.
Oh. Am I too far away? Oh, there it went. Yeah, it's just, it's a little too far away to click. <laughs> it's trying to move. That's no good. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to delete that. But the click to move's working. I wonder if click to move, all right, fill the view. Thousand a thousand. Field of view should be ten. I don't know why that didn't change. Can we do that? Change it inside the loop. Hmm. Stop. I don't like that. Let's go ahead and turn off the click to move. I do want that to be my choice though. Click to move. Auto jump is off. No auto jump. Are you serious? All right. It looks like the mesh keeps falling through the ground. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. Where's that camera? Field of view, 10. Push that back up to 70. Jeez. That's kind of cool. That's a little transparent. Just saying. How far along are we? Holy cow. It's been 42 minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will come back to this. But for now, thanks for watching. Um, I know it looks like I'm struggling through most of it. And I'm going to tell you straight up. I am. <laughs> I have not programmed in a while and it's time for me to get back into it. So thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lamag with me, Heath Haskins Code Primate, as we're trying to create the three-fourths look of um, Stein, this game right here. By the way, Stein is an, uh, an MMORPG. It is free to play. Just go to stein.world and sign up. Yep, you'll need an email and stuff, so. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon.